It's plenty of time I've been walking with my niece and I've heard guys way across the street. Oh my. And I've actually asked the guy, listen dog, don't you see this little girl beside me? Like what do you really expect me to say to you all the way across the street? What are you screaming for? Don't be like, yo, what's yo, up? Yo, what's up? Uh, no. Get off because you don't, don't do that. If a nigga grab my arm, he's getting cursed the fuck out. Like he's gonna get checked. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even want you anyway because your approach is completely off. Your approach lets me know that you don't have a clue. You know what it means to even talk to a woman because a real man wouldn't talk like that. A real man will hold his peasy, but wait, he'll introduce himself. Say what's up? How you doing? They look at you like this. Are they looking at you some type of way? Like, I don't look. The one that's on welfare. But she got the Ugg boots. But she ain't gonna talk to you unless you ain't buying this. And she got that Air Apostle sweats on. That's stuck up, bro. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's because automatically, if you got some kind of pride or sense of yourself, you're stuck up. Oh, she's stuck up. She's this, she's that. You know, but what it really is is they can sense her confidence. They can sense that she cares for herself on a lot of different levels. That's one thing about as far as a woman. And a lot of people call a woman a bitch. I give a lot of respect. To, it takes a hell of a woman to become a bitch because if you put up with things in life that a lot of men try to dish out to you and you can handle it and it get through this world right now today, you're a hell of a woman.